If you have started learning Angular 4 or Angular 2, you might feel that some magical things happen there with binding and gmodel and blah blah blah. It simply works and feels nice. However, when you're dealing with the real world, there are a lot of situations you have not seen in tutorials for beginners because components are explained only at a very basic level. My name is Enrique, I'm a software engineer. I work as a CDO of a startup based in Barcelona and I've been playing with Angular since its early stages. I spent years dedicating myself to e-learning, creating programming related content in my blog and creating all the courses in Udemy that have been highly rated. In fact, this course is the English version of my 5 stars rated course about components I originally created in Spanish. I've created this course because I think that a deep understanding about Angular components is essential for any professional in Angular and I am so happy to share with you all this content. In this course about Angular components, I put all my efforts into concentrate everything I have learned in recent years to transmit you all this knowledge in the most enjoyable and direct way possible. My goal is to let you start this course with a beginner level regarding Angular components and make you practice so by the end of the course you can use them like a pro. Starting with the easiest scenarios and following a learning by doing approach, you're gonna dig deep into components API in order to do complex stuff learning good practices on your way and understanding how to properly organize your app components using a scalable architecture. The requirements you need to start this course are the following. Some basic notions about Angular you can learn by doing a couple tutorials and of course some basic knowledge about ECMAScript 6, TypeScript, HTML and CSS that you should have also learned if you have played a little bit with Angular. The course is organized by three sections sort by difficulty. Every video is specifically focused on one topic, but throughout the sections you're going to develop some kind of web application that will serve as a common thread. In each video you're going to learn concepts that you can apply to the next ones, and difficulty will increase progressively along with your knowledge. The final code you get at the end of each video is available to you in case you need to jump to specific content at some point or you don't want to follow the course in a linear way. At the end of the course, you will be able to build by yourself components with the same quality of those from frameworks like Ionic or Angular Material. If you want to grow as a professional in Angular, this is the opportunity. So join the course and I will be glad to welcome you to Angular Components like a pro.